Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an issue that you're unable to preview a Word or Excel attachment in Outlook. So if you're receiving a mail message and it says that the file cannot be previewed because of an error, this tutorial should hopefully be able to address the problem without too much of a hassle. One thing I would take note of is make sure that it is an actual Word document so that the sender did not maybe send a picture and saved it as the wrong file format type. So that's one thing as well as compatibility issues so make sure they're running a modern version of the Microsoft Office suite and it's a .doc not an older file extension type for the Microsoft Office product line. So that's always a possibility too you might actually have to change that. but. For most people, hopefully this should be able to resolve the problem without too much of a hassle here. So you actually want to locate the document or Excel spreadsheet, right click on the actual file, left click on properties. If it's from a different source, so if it's from online, there should be a button that says unblock. Just want to left click on unblock and then left click on OK. So hopefully that should be able to address the problem. Now if you're still experiencing a problem and this is just a temporary quick fix you just want to do one time, I'm going to show you guys another potential workaround and that would be to actually open up Microsoft Word or Office or anything you actually can open like PowerPoint doesn't really matter. You want to go up to the File tab and then you want to go ahead and left click on Options. Down at the bottom, left click on Trust Center, left click on Trust Center Settings over on the right side. Left click on Protected View. And now I would temporarily consider disabling these, so all three of them here, the Protected View, and then just click on OK. T try temporarily turning them off and seeing if it resolves the problem in your individual case. I would strongly suggest that you re-enable them once you're done. This is not meant to be a permanent fix here. I would highly suggest you keep Protected View turned on. However, if you're receiving an error that it's been blocked, then this could be a potential quick workaround for you guys, but just keep in mind you could be opening yourselves up to potential issues with security if you're going to keep them unchecked. But if you're 100% sure that it's a safe file, you can try doing that. Again, it's more likely than not that the file is probably corrupt and there's really nothing we can do about that on our end, but it's just something to keep in mind. So I do hope that one of the methods I went through in this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.